Hi, I'm Aaron, the owner of Brisbane Yamaha. Brisbane Yamaha have their own trim shop. It's one of the advantages we have over everyone else. But people say, why don't I just make my own bimini? And why don't you? Today, what we're gonna do is show you how you can make your own bimini. Now, over here, we've got a 420 Renegade. This 420 Renegade's a second-hand boat. The owner came in and said, hey, I need a little bit of shade. So what you've got here is the framework of a four-bow bimini. What you can see is it looks pretty easy. A couple of very simple, it's a bit like a Meccano set when I was a kid really, isn't it? A couple of very simple fittings that all stick together. They just push together a few nuts and bolts. Now, but let's have a look at the shape. This is one of the secrets. See how we've got this line and we actually make the, make the shape of the bimini. That's what it'll look like at the end. That's the cover you're gonna get. Now, how do you do that? Well, what you're gonna do is you're gonna buy some aluminium pipe. This is 20, 25 mil and it's all bright, so it stays shiny. You need to get some fittings. Now, but how do you work out the bend? Well, there's a formula to it and it's not that hard. Basically, you're measuring up, and I, Dan, you show up to here, up to that mark where the bend starts. Right now, what we'll do is, I'll show you how to make a bend. So, what we have is a jig. This jig looks pretty simple, doesn't it? This is what the trimmers use to make the curve in the bimini, which is incredibly crucial, because that's gonna give you the look. And don't forget, you've gotta sew the top. And basically, they just bend it by hand around the shape to make a curve. We start with a lot longer, but I didn't want to wreck a, a new piece. Right? So you need a jig to make the shape. So aluminium pipe that we use, right? we use a couple of different types. We tend to use either 19 and 25 mil, either 1.6 or 3 mil. Unlike most trim shops, we use three mil on all of the strong areas so they don't collapse. Now, it's pretty easy. It comes in six metre lengths. It's pretty light, you know. You should be able to buy that at Bunnings. Put another couple of fittings here. Bend the four bows and you use a strap to put it in position. Now, once you've got it in position, now you can lay some fabric on it. Of course, some people say to me, I'll just get my wife to sew it up. Well, her genome is probably not going to do it. What you need is a heavy duty industrial sewing machine with industrial needles. All right? Don't be sneaking into your wife's and getting the singer because you'll just kill it with the canvas. Also, what you need to do is get UV cotton, the string, because biminis fall apart because people use inferior or cheap cotton that's not made to be out in the salt water in the harsh environments that we have on the water. So, we get to this stage. Now here's Rod. Rod runs the trim shop. Come here Rod for a sec. He didn't want to talk to me, talk to us. Now Rod, when you've got the, the bow up for this bimini, yep. how do you know where you're going to cut and where the lines are for the top canvas? We'll lay the canvas on and we'll stretch it out, clamp it in position and then... So you lay it on, clamp it in position, yep. and every bow is going to be a loop, yes? Yeah, it has a pocket in there to keep the bow up. A pocket with a loop over it to keep the bow up so that it folds up. Right, then you make the pockets, lay it over, put it on, sew some pockets over, and then you're just basically feeding it onto the hoops. That's right. Easy really, isn't it? You've only got a few fittings. Right, eyelet, goes into base plates, nut goes through it, you know? Then we put a screw in the side, and that locks it all in tight. You know, a few press studs, a few clips, zips. We only use KYY and Yakka, the most high quality here, and you should too, because otherwise they'll fall apart. Rod holders, have a look how they start. You know, that will turn into a, a rod rack. Very easy, it just threads in there, a little screw. Now, we also, what you should have, if you've got a painted boat, you should use something like Tef Gel. What that stops is your boat and your paint from getting electrolysis and starting to bubble, right, from dissimilar materials. 
So because everywhere you put a stainless steel fitting onto the aluminium, the paint's gonna wanna come off. So what we do is everything we do, whether it's in the workshop, whether it's in the trim shop, we use a product, well, we use Tef Gel, you know? Duralax good, there's a couple of products there, but you should use something. Now, if you're having trouble, don't call my guys because they won't tell you. But that's how you build a bimmy. That little strip's the secret. And if you want the finest trim work in Queensland, give Brisbane Yamaha a call. You'll end up with Rod and his team because they're the best trimmers there are. And that's why Brisbane Yamaha is famous for our trim work. Give the boys a call, 3888-1727 and put some shade on your boat. It'll look better, sell for more, and our stuff lasts forever. See you on the water.